Hey, this is Radical Dan. Um, I'm just doing a test right now. I'm just doing a mock uh, grid down type test. Like, okay, say, okay, oh my gosh, the electric's out, whatever. So I'm gonna come out here and I'm gonna do a timed test. Um, see how long it'll take to bring this gasifier up. But uh, I've got this little it's like a homemade uh, inverter. It's like 180 watts, but it's enough to run that this little blower fan, which basically sucks the gases through it until they're burnable. Uh, it's running off this uh, battery bank right here, which is uh, that's my charge controller. It's only a 90 watt system, but like I said, it's enough to keep this these batteries charged, and uh, it'd be hard to do with one hand. So uh, I'll start doing it and then I'll just check in oh yeah it's uh what is it today's the November 21st it is 2:28 p.m. so we're gonna see what it does all right all right it's 2 35 so let me see pull this off and let's see what we can get here minutes, seven minutes, something like that. Yeah. Got the gases off right there. So yeah, about six, seven minutes, whatever, from a cold start with uh, just a uh, regular charcoal. Which uh, I pulled the, the top off to check how much I had in it because I haven't filled it up since like last year. But it's just this kind of stuff right here that I make. But yeah, it's like the charcoal. When the charcoal burns, you're only letting a little bit of air come in through here. Okay, so you can see smoke coming out of it. I'll have to cap this off so it doesn't burn it up. But what happens is it sucks a little bit of air and it's not enough to burn it completely. So what happens is the gases that come off of it are not completely burned. It's like pollution, basically. But the pollution is uh, carbon monoxide and hydrogen, methane, that kind of stuff right there. And all these gases are flammable. So what they'll do is they'll come up through the top right here, and I've got it going through this hose. And then it goes down this here, the car radiator, which uh, what happens is when the gases come in, they have to like fight their way up you know through the fins and all that kind of stuff and when it does that any kind of condensation will you know or any kind of water will condense out and you know it'll fall to the bottom and then I can drain it from the bottom right there well then from there the gases come out and they come into this which is a filter and I have some uh, what they call that uh, open foam uh, it's like they put in the like the old mattresses well not mattresses but um, like cushions for couches and stuff and uh, they're in like campers and stuff like that. It's that like that yellow foamy stuff that it doesn't get wet and all that. It's, it's open cell. It's got like a bunch of holes in it. Anyway, that, uh, the gas is sucked through here and takes all the dust and all the fine particles out and traps them in here so they don't get put in the engine. And then it comes down through here. And right here is my intake. Okay, this is where the carburetor normally is. I don't have a carburetor on it. What I do is I control the gas, the volatile gas flow right here and this, this will speed up and slow down the engine by how much I put in it, but because you have to have a fuel air mixture, what I do here, this is the same place that I was uh, had the, the blower hooked up to because what it does is basically sucks all the gases through so you can start it because if you try to do it by hand, <laughs> you'll throw your shoulder out, but anyway. but So then this becomes uh, an air inlet, so I can mix air right here, fresh air, and then this is the mixture of the gases and the air together. So once you find your mixture that it burns at, then you just leave that and then you can adjust your idle here. You can go faster or slower. And then after it runs for a while, after it starts getting really hot, this is another valve. And what it does is basically it comes off the exhaust. 
So any kind of exhaust gases that come out, of course, you know, they don't contain oxygen. So what happens is I can pump some of that back into the burn chamber because if it's starting to burn too hot, you know, you want to cool the burn down. So by doing that, you're replacing some of the oxygen with uh, exhaust gases. And the cool thing about it is uh, like carbon dioxide will come out as part of your exhaust gas. And when the carbon dioxide actually comes back through this bed of charcoal, the charcoal, uh, the carbon actually steals uh, oxygen molecule from the CO2 and turns it back into CO, which is carbon monoxide, which again is another fuel. So, so I mean, it's like a recycle type thing. So the, then the carbon monoxide will add to the fuel right here, but see it restricts the amount of oxygen so it doesn't burn. If anybody's ever done, you know, if you've done any kind of foraging or anything like that, you notice the more air you put into something, the hotter it gets. So that basically right here is controlling, because I don't want to get this real, real hot. I've got a base in this that I've put you know like four inches of concrete I poured it in the bottom of it I let it set up as as a base so that this bottom doesn't get hot and it doesn't burn it doesn't burn through the barrel it doesn't burn through the base whatever you're putting it onto a lot of people don't do that but I tried it and it seems to work pretty good so yeah basically what I, what I can do this way is I can control the heat or the temperature of the burn zone so it doesn't you know go out it doesn't go you know it gets too hot and all that kind of stuff but then uh, but yeah, anyway, that's basically the, the quick uh, view of it. And I keep, uh, like I said, I keep a couple lighters in here and I'll uh, keep some scrap paper in there because that's how I can start it. And then, uh, like I said, this little uh, inverter and it's good to go. So now anytime the power goes out, I can come out here and within, you've seen like seven minutes, whatever. You know, so 10 minutes basically. 10 minutes from the time the power goes out, I can fire it up. I can plug an extension cord in there, run it back in the house, and then there's 4,000 watt generator. And it'll run <clears throat> off of this charcoal, you know. Like I said, that's halfway full. It's still halfway full, and it's, I've, it's been there for, you know. Of course, I've only run it probably, I don't know, maybe two hours total in the last year. But see, that's another good thing, because charcoal doesn't go bad. Like, if you had gas sitting in your generator for two years, you wouldn't be able to start it, because it, it, the gas would go bad. The charcoal doesn't go bad. And like I said, I've got I've got cans, I've got trash cans full of this stuff that I make. So I just thought I'd show you, you know, like a a timed uh, response to it to see how fast. So like in a grid down situation, you know, 10 minutes you got power. So that's not, you know, that's not going to like spoil your meat in your refrigerator or nothing like that. So whatever. All right, that's just an update. Have a good day. Thanks. See ya.